Uh, how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, D Field here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. And today we are building a brand new base because we were finally raided by Brayden late, late, late last night. I think it was like 3 or 4 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. Technically, that'd only be like 2 or 2 a.m. for Brayden's time. So he's very, very strategic in the way that he kind of raids people, which is I, I respect that. That's a really, really good aspect for him, you know? So, uh, I have my entire faction on right now. We've got about four or five people here just kind of working on getting our new base all laid out and set up, and, uh, we're kind of just gonna be working on this a little bit, a couple hours tonight, and probably kind of just no life this, uh, tomorrow on Friday after everybody gets back from school so we can all build everything at once, but we have everything unclaimed right now, but we'll probably claim it right before we all get offline later, and we're kind of just discussing the, we're discussing all of the kind of, um, the dimensions of everything, because we're thinking about making a spawner base we're thinking about making a vault base as well the only reason why the other base was kind of raided so quickly was obviously because of the fact that um our allies quote unquote our allies who think that they tricked us or whatever they all it was it was it was bound to happen like sooner rather than later it was bound to happen so you know how it is like it's gonna get raided regardless so i mean i was i've been looking i've been scouting out i do have a set home to team nudist base i've been looking on the outsides and how they have everything claimed so it's actually really, really, um, it's, it, it looks like it's, it can be raidable as long as you raid it from the correct angle. So I have noticed some misplaced armor, not armor, excuse me, misplaced regeneration walls that they have in their thing, which will actually make them easier to raid when we do uh, plan on uh, making that. But it looks like we're just laying all of this out right now. I'm going to see if I can get Brent into a recording later tonight to actually do everything. But I think the majority of tonight, which is Thursday night, majority of what we're, what we're going to be doing today is just literally... Building our new base. We're just gonna get all the entire layout all set up, but we've got it. It's, it's pretty easy I do have a little home bottom. Do I have my home bot? Wait, let me set home top here Did I I'm not sure if I did it already, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again anyways Let me go ahead and go home bottom Real quick. I have a home right in the bottom. That's the little platform that they, they were making right here But we had this down here and then this they decided as a faction to kind of just move everything up a little bit higher to make it even harder to the raid and now we kind of you know I haven't played on a wither server in a while don't get me wrong I, last time I played on a wither server was obviously on factions black and that was like that was like four or five months ago so we're still learning we're learning the learning the trips and the trips the tick of what am I trying to say here the trips and uh, what the tips and tricks of wither bases again because obviously with cannon bases and wither bases are completely completely different in terms of what you're trying to do um, and what you're trying to get but anyways um, uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit more work uh, tonight we'll see how much we can actually get done and i'll show it by the end of today's recording i'll probably do a quick clip right at the very very end of the video showing how much work we got done today um yeah so let us go lay us out we'll be right back guys and let's get to work holy crap quick update on what we're working on so far we're going we're just making some quick walls right here we're making the just a huge outside layer my faction members are they actually still working on it i'm not oh my gosh i'm flowing off the freaking edge they're working on work yeah there they are they're ski <laughs> they're working on getting our main inside base kind of closed off by the end of the night it is about two what time is it right now 2 20 a.m so I mean, we're, we are, we're we're hard at work. It's it's pretty pretty simple though. It's just super super simple work. Everything in terms of just having all the water sources uh, properly placed. It's just it's so easy to do this. But uh, you know, got a couple more hours in terms of base building stuff, but it shouldn't be too too hard. Uh, look how easy this is. Hold up, here we go. Wait, I don't understand though. By look, these are all like infinite water sources. But if I try to take one, like it's supposed to fill in, but it doesn't. So like I, I literally have to just go back and forth from an ocean set home to over here just to make sure everything is fully fully waterproof but by the end of tonight we'll have at least one of these walls well technically two because obviously it's generating two walls we'll have at least two of these walls done i'm probably gonna shoot for about three or four walls done by tomorrow hopefully this base does not get found which probably will by the end of tomorrow night and then we'll uh we'll see how the defenses hold up uh but yeah but so what we have planned so far is this entire wall right here is just gonna be fully fully built oh god <laughs> by the time uh, I get off tonight so just to make sure that everything's nice and perfect anyways yeah back to work just a little bit more grinding and uh, we'll have another base set up fairly soon all right so let's get into the actual remainder of today's episode it looks like my faction has finished building this entire thing uh last night i got off at about 3 30 a.m and they just uh kind of stayed on for a little bit longer and finished these walls i have the first layer of walls on the outside of this base actually done so that's nice and perfect from that aspect but anyways so uh what does this say <laughs> honey was here oh my god freaking honey pot god dang it abby why you do this abby anyways uh 
um, since we are back on the Wither server, I've not made one of these in a while, and I was just thinking that since I did win some of the skeleton spawners from the kits when we were unlocking all of our crate keys, I do have the ability to actually make, uh, I wonder what these two things are right here. I do have the ability to make skeleton spawners in order to get wither heads. Now, I have not done a single raid yet other than the one that we did on Pride like two days ago because of the fact that, uh, yeah, people are going to be water protecting their base, and yeah, I could use a cannon and all that good stuff, but obviously, starting out, we don't really have that much access to lots and lots of TNT. So anyways, uh, what I would planned on doing, I have my pickaxe with me, right? I planned on doing, I, I have a so home set right here, home wither. I think I have a home set as wither. Now, I'm going to make a temporary little, I guess you could say, oh, 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 be careful, be careful, that's lava. I, I'm going to make a temporary little, I should probably eat chest and get some armor on. That'd probably be a good idea, just in case somebody comes over here. I don't want to be losing my head that easily. I'm going to make a temporary little, um, I guess you could say a wither farm and just, you know, it's, it's not going to be a huge farm. It's not going to be like 100% efficient, but I just want a small area where I can kind of, if I need wither heads, I can literally just you know plop down a wither head thingy uh some have the wither spawn in or the wither skeleton spawn in and then for us to be able to farm like two or three heads and then just mine the spawner again and then easily just just you know just come back whenever we need in order to do this so we're not gonna build a full-on spawner because i know that it's gonna get raided very very quickly like especially if we're not gonna be claiming it they'll just come in swoop down and steal all of our spawners so i was thinking of just you know simply making a quick little room in which we can take the spawner place sit down and then have them spawn in so um i'm thinking of just having like a seven by seven room that'd probably be the best idea uh for this actual base itself now i do want to kind of make the roof even to uh, to you know to make the spawning uh to make the spawning algorithm fine for all of the spawners so let, let me go ahead and clear up this room uh, a little, little quickly here now i was planning on doing a raid with brent last night but he did not get home until freaking like 12 30 and he was a little bit tired from what he was doing so Decided that I'd just hold off on the raid that we were planning for another day or two or whatever it is. But I do have, uh, you know, some faction plans in terms of what we are doing and our, our current goals and our current ambitions as to who we're going to be allying and who we're going to be fighting and all of that good stuff. So we'll be explaining that in the next upcoming episodes. It's kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying factions right now for the fact that um, I haven't played on a Wither server in a while, number one. So, like... You know, it's, it's a lot harder to defend bases in terms of a wither because it's very easy for a wither to raid, you know, cannon bases. It's very easy for a wither to raid certain types of bases compared to others. So, you know, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like a throwback moment. Like, yeah, I understand that I played wither servers in the past, but then now it's like it's like shit. It's like crap. We're like. We're, we're back to wither servers and it's 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 so different now it just feels super super crazy but anyways okay so this is gonna be let's go hmm i think i'm gonna go another two layers no 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 let's go three layers down it's not gonna be the best the best of the best um spawning platforms in order in, for a skeleton anyways it's not gonna be the best but it'll it'll have to do and then hopefully we can get some like maybe two or three wither heads for tomorrow's raid that i have planned with my boy brent and oh my gosh it looks like there's a little bit of server lag as well as the wood is taking ages to freaking break holy crap okay this definitely will be good enough let me do set home i'm gonna do this corner right here set home wither and we're gonna just plan this little room so uh how is this gonna be a nice wither uh farm or a wither skeleton farm we're gonna make this so that whenever we're not using it there's gonna be no spawners in here there's literally gonna be no point for people to actually raid this because all it is gonna be is gonna be a flat room with literally nothing in it so this is why i'm gonna make it's it's sort of like a temporary farm right we're, we're making a temporary farm out of this right here and hopefully we can just make some nice stuff out of it. So, ooh, I nearly showed my cords there. I nearly just pressed F3 just out of habit. Oh my gosh, that would have been really bad. So what I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna make a nice little just platform right here. Did I set my home in this corner? I did. And this is gonna be the killing platform. It's gonna be super easy to make this, by the way. I'm not gonna make it look pretty or anything of that sort. And then what we're gonna do is, let's just go ahead and place this down here. Mm. I have armor on me. I've got a gapple just in case. A lot of you guys have been commenting down below about my use of gapples. I've just been so used to Factions Purple and like Factions Black where we had stacks on stacks on stacks of gapples because of the OP economy that like I, I wouldn't mind wasting a gapple here and there. So I am going to be making a conscious effort to actually try to, uh, you know, use and conserve my gapples a lot better than I have been because I understand that we don't have a lot. Like I 
I've got two gapples on me. I've got nine in my E chest. So we, we've got to start making money. And the only way that we're going to be making money in the near future is when we get the, sp the farms up and running and our actual faction base. So anyways, um, do I have a silk touch pickaxe? Home new base. All right. No, no. Ho wait, is it new base? Home new base? Yeah, it's just home new base. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need a silk touch pickaxe. I might have to buy one from the server right now because I did lose my silk touch pickaxe from when we were moving. Let's see if anybody's selling. Uh, anyone selling a silk touch pick? All right, we need to, we need to get a silk touch pick real quickly here because that'll be easy for us. Because we need to mine up the spawner real quick. How much brisky? Let's see. We got we got to get this quick silk touch pick for somebody, and then we'll be good to go so that we can mine up the spawner when we're done. Uh, Spy boss says eight k. Me man, 5k, oh, 5,000 for, hold on, I'm looking for my boy Brisky. Let me put it in inventory. How much Brisky? He's got to give me the price. He's got to give me the price. Okay, here we go. Do -do 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 Waiting for Brisky to respond because he says, take it, Mark. Uh, but but how much, LOL. <laughs> I, I want to pay him. He's I think he's just trying to give it to me, but I want to pay him, dude. 5k for my, Brisky says free. Okay, wait, NC Brisky. I'm gonna pay him anyway. Here's his silk touch pick right here. Pay Brisky five thousand. I'm gonna pay you at five k anyways. All right, so let's see how much we have. We've got. I had to spend a lot of money yesterday buying stone bricks, but we do still have hundred thousand dollars to actually spend on stuff. So thank you, Brisky, for that. I think he's from Aurora. That's Ben's faction, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we got our silk touch pick. Let me put that in my inventory now. Let me find out real quick. E chest. I've got two unnamed spawners here. I have no idea what these are, and I want to go ahead and mine them up just to see if they're skeleton spawners. Let's go. Boom. What is that? Oh, yes. Okay, so that's we have two skeleton spawners that we can work with. Oh, oh, oh. What are we doing? Uh oh, oh. Okay, there you go. It's just lagging. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so we got a skeleton spawner. Kill that. And then what's this other one? What is it? I think it's a pig. It might be a pig spawner. I'm assuming that this one has to be a pig spawner. Let's check it out. Oh no, it's a it's a cow spawner. I don't want a cow spawner right now. This ain't no this ain't no uh, spawner faction freaking thingy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, so we got five cow spawners, one iron golem. We're gonna save that. We're gonna probably make that farm sometime this weekend. So we've got two skeleton spawners that we can actually use today. Let me go home with her. Oh god, I set my home in the wrong corner. <laughs> Alright, set home with her. Let's set up this little area here. Now I want to place the spawners right underneath here. And then uh once we place these here, we're gonna dip. Whoop! Run, 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 run. We're going to run underneath here. All right. Now we just wait for the wither skeletons to spawn. Um, if there is going to be some loot. Oh, God. They can actually hit me. Let's let's make some. Can I make some quick slabs so that they can't hit me? I forgot to make one of these freaking bad boy bases. But there we go. Let's just plop in some freaking uh, slabs right there so they can't actually shoot through unless they're way, way, way over there. Let's get some freaking. Do I have a looting three sword? No, I do not. Okay, let's hopefully we can get some wither skeletons very, very soon. Uh, I'll try to get at least one or two right now, right before we end this recording, and then uh, we'll probably save it up in our e chest and hopefully save it for the raid. How come they can't see me? Come over here, dude. Come over here. Chill over here, baby. Let me get that wither head. Come on. Let me get that wither head. Oh, nothing so far. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and AFK for a little bit here. We'll see what happens. Maybe get one or two heads. It's going to take a while, guys. Wither heads take a little bit to farm. And I got one more thing planned for the end of the episode, and let's get right to it. There we freaking go. Just got our first head. There it is. It's on the ground. Hold on. Let me see if I can go get it. Oh, God. This is going to be dangerous. This is going to be dangerous. We're going to swoop in. Wait, watch out. Watch out. Come here. Oh, it's, it fell on the floor. No. Okay, there it is. First freaking head right there. First wither skeleton head from this farm. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so these things are actually too tall to grab this, which is perfect. So that's good for us. We can go ahead. Uh, we're gonna. I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this really, really quickly off camera just so that we can get a couple more heads. But it does work. We got our first wither skeleton head right there. It looks like so. This this farm is definitely going to be. It's going to be a good farm. It's, it's so easy. It's just a nice, simple room where I randomly. Oh, my God. What the heck? Come on. Give me my skeleton spawner. There it is. There it is. Give me that bad boy. Give me that. Give me it. Where'd it go? What the freak? <laughs> there we go. E chest. I'm going to put this in my E chest. So whenever I need a skeleton, wither skeletons, I obviously can make this room a lot bigger or put more spawners in as needed. Let me just do set home wither one last time just to make sure. 
There we go, and there we go. So we have one head so far. We can, we obviously gonna need a lot more than that. So we're gonna be doing this either, you know, I'm gonna either have my faction just collecting more wither heads or I'm just gonna be doing it, whatever. It doesn't really matter, guys. It really doesn't matter as to which, uh, or as to how I'm gonna be collecting this. But anyways, as I was saying, rolling into that one last clip with another YouTuber, we'll see what we can come up with. Mr. O-Techers. Hi, hey. Darkness. How you doing? Hey, doing pretty good. How are you doing, dude? I'm good. We, ha we, haven't, we haven't met yet. What, yeah. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, so I have a proposition for you. Oh. Okay. I want to ally you to take down Brayden. Okay, straight up. <laughs> yeah. um, no, no <laughs> jokes. Just go straight up to what he I, wants I and what he needs. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so why, why should I ally you, dude? So this is like an interview right here. Yeah, pretty much. Well... So, Mark has agreed to ally both of us, if you and I ally, and then with all of us combining our forces together to take down Brayden, because if you didn't know, Brayden's actually allied with Nathan, Noboom, Kermit, and then Ant's group with uh, Kwahui and Private Fearless, so they have their own little trifecta going, so we need ours. We need okay. ours. And okay. I have some pretty powerful allies. Uh, one of them goes by the name of Hawking and Prologue. Brayden's scared of them. So we have an army on our side. So basically it'll be us three against Brayden and his other teams. Yeah, and his three. Or like okay. three YouTubers. Factions. I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, that I was so easy. I was ready I'm to pay like I was ready to pay like a hundred thousand dollars and just sweeten the deal or anything. He just goes, Let's do it. All right, saving my bank account. Woohoo! That's how we do it. Matt, what's your faction? Uh so okay. I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you. F L I O Techers. Just do, just do F L I. Yeah, just do F L I. Psycho. Psycho. Wait, what? What? Dude, allied O Techers. It's gonna be crazy. Holy crap! So guys, here's the plan. So now that this entire quote unquote team has been perfected, I think we got to start making some war plans against a specific somebody because you, you get this, all right? So Brayden, you know, a couple days ago, he's like, Mark, we're gonna give each other a couple of days to kind of just get settled in. He raids me two days later. I'm like, are wow. you serious? I'm like, that is so. <laughs> he, oh, he just betrayed the terms. I was like, you know, we were neutral and everything, but now, now is the time that we strike. So uh, now the Dylan, so the Otech, is just, this is literally the best part about having Dylan. Dylan's got connections with Prologue, and their old um, Prologue has this huge, like, wither, like, famous wither raider, I guess. He's, Brayden knows him. He's very, very well known in that little uh, faction cyan community. So hopefully we can get into contact with him sometime soon. Hopefully I'll be looking out for him on the team speaking oh, stuff. Oh, another thing, another thing. So yeah. Ben Mascot, right? Uh huh. He was unbanned. And he was Brayden's arch nemesis on Cyan as well, and he's on our side as well. Is he actually going to be on our side, or is he just saying that, and are we going to get betrayed? Like, do we have the authority, or do we have, can we trust him? Is the Brayden question. hates the guy. Does he, does yeah, he actually, actually hates though? The guy. Or is I he just tricking so. us to thinking that he I'm does? I'm not sure. So, he I don't know, maybe we'll talk, we'll you. see if we can talk to Ben then as well, because if we can get just a whole bunch of power factions against team, what are they calling themselves, New Demic New or something? New Demic, yeah. <laughs> they, it's, it'll, be, it'll be easy, it'll be easy for us to, if we start all just raiding all at the same time, it'll be a pretty, pretty good war, dude. Yeah, Mark, uh, ally, uh, I set the request, Matt, what's your faction? Uh, Saigo, S A. I. Well, what's your faction yeah. name again? Oh, wait, F, uh, Insidious. I'll put it, I'll put it in chat. Psycho. I got there you. We go. right, there I, I we go. There we go. The allyships have map. been made, guys. Holy Let's do crap. It. The Here second trifecta. All right, guys. We're, well, we're, I guess we're going to be off to war soon. You guys better get prepared. Potions, armor, and everything. We'll see you guys on the we're, battlefield. Uh, we're enchanting the diamonds. <clears throat> that's Let's what we're do doing. It, dude. All right. See you Holy guys later. Holy crap. That's nervous. Nerve-wracking.